I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty, and I'm excited that you're here with me today so I can show you these Zhu Contrast Chanel blushes. I've been on YouTube about a year and a half, and really, for all that time when I would edit my videos, during most of the videos, I would look at my blush and think, oh my, that looks absolutely terrible. Here are a few pictures from me early on, and I was trying my hardest, and I was using a variety of blushes, but I often had that kind of clown look going, and it wasn't attractive. Well, all that changed when I found the Chanel Zhu Contrast Blushes. And as you know, I'm kind of a drugstore makeup girl. If I can find something in a drugstore that does just the same thing as a higher end, I'm going to go for the drugstore every time. I guess I'm kind of cheap, but I like to be able to buy lots of makeup and drugstore price makeup really helps me do that. But I have to say, once I discovered these Chanel blushes, it's kind of hard for me to use anything else because they give me a nice soft color, which I think is a lot more youthful. So let me take off this blush and I'll show you my favorites. Okay, here I am up close and personal, and I have lipstick on and foundation and my eyes, but I have no blush on because I'm going to be showing you these wonderful Chanel blushes, which I absolutely adore these blushes. But I am wearing some lipstick, which is my favorite lipstick. This is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in Pillow Talk, and this is actually my second tube of this. It is like $32 a tube, but I absolutely love it. And I do have some dupes for it. And if you'd like to see a video about some great Pillow Talk dupes, then let me know down in the comments because I'd be glad to do that for you. And I'll be putting one color on one side and the other color on the other side. And then I'll be showing you my absolute favorite of these three. This comes in like 15 colors and it says it is a subtle powder with subtle radiance to the cheeks and that it wakes up your under eye area and does not increase fine lines and wrinkles in that area that it blends that area in seamlessly with your cheekbones. And I have certainly noticed that to be the case. And each of these little blushes comes with its own brush, which I really appreciate. But I'm going to go ahead and try the first one on here. But I absolutely love this. I had come off a period where the blushes that I was wearing on air here, I realized looked absolutely terrible. I had favored these rose kind of fuchsia blushes and I realized that I was looking very old lady because sometimes we have that bright, glaring, circus-like blush. And I realized looking back on the videos as I was editing them to my horror that I was looking a lot like that. But this is a wonderful color. It's a very natural color called Elegance or Elegance, whatever. But as you can see, it's almost impossible to get too much color on there. Look how nice and radiant that is. That one has just the tiniest little bit of shine in it. Not much at all though, because I really don't like too much shine when we get to be 50 plus, but it's absolutely beautiful and very, very natural. So that's how that one looks, Elegance. And I chose these three Chanel blushes in particular because I went and looked at the reviews and I got the three most highly rated colors and I absolutely love this one. And my next most favorite Jew Contrast Blush is this kind of rosy color, absolutely beautiful, almost a little bit of fuchsia and a little bit of peach mixed in there. It's a color called Quintessence, and I'll put it on the other side so you can see the contrast with the more natural color. That more natural color is something that I could wear pretty much every day. This one is a little more zingy, but still I think it's got a very natural look to it and I love it because it doesn't tend to have the harsh lines of demarcation that I've gotten with many other blushes. I'm absolutely amazed by these blushes because they do not look fake at all. They look just like the blood has rushed to your cheeks. They look natural and glowy. Okay, now I've taken off my two runners up and actually I love those blushes. I wear them interchangeably with this one, but this is absolutely my most favorite one because this has a little bit of that rosy shade that I like and it's mixed in with just enough peach to not quite look totally natural and have a little extra oomph to it. And this one is called Rose Ekron and this got five stars out of five and I can certainly see why. And I've cleaned off my brush and I've cleaned off my cheeks again. So I'll go ahead and just place that on both of my cheeks. Whoa, I got the mic there. Hope I didn't drum your ears out there. But see how beautifully that goes on. It just looks absolutely flawless and it does not show any harsh lines. It just gives the most subtly beautiful glow. I'll put a little bit more on. 
It's almost like these are so subtle that you can't overdo them, but amazingly enough, they really last almost all day. In fact, I put this blush on this morning and then I came home at five o'clock and I really had to wash the blush off again. It wasn't quite as dark as maybe it was this morning, but it still definitely looked like I had blush on. These are subtle and gorgeous and just give you that youthful glow and they last a long time too. Okay, before I get into the thought for the day, I wanted to review this Kevin Aquan Illuminator. It's an absolutely wonderful highlighter product. It's called the Neo Highlighter and it's in the color Golden Rose Glow, which I always like rosy colors. However, I will say this is a very, very natural highlighter. Look at that color there. It's a peachy kind of skin tone like color. So if you want a highlighter that just is like headlights when you come into the room, this is not one for you. But I think as we get a little bit older, a little bit past 50, sorry, I meant to say a little bit more grown up, I think natural highlighters are the best. And so I'll go ahead and show you how this works. And I felt very grateful that they sent this to me. I absolutely love Kevin Aquan highlighters and contours. Their volume two book I use and use. In fact, I'll show that to you in just a minute. Absolutely love it. This is so subtle that I think I'll put a little bit of it on my cheeks and a little bit down my nose. But as you can see, it is super, super natural. It just gives you a little bit of a glow, very, very subtle. No yeah. one would really know you had a highlighter on, but I think it just gives you that healthy skin look. And I promised I'd show you the other Kevin Aquan contour book that I have. This is volume two and it is wonderful highlighters. There's a fantastic highlighter, candlelight powder is what it's called. And then there's a candlelight cream. There's a cream contour here, a powder contour and some eyeshadows. And as you can tell, I really, really love this palette and I use it a lot. Now, if you're not a subscriber and you're interested in great products for those 50 and above or 40 and above, anyone who's a little more grown up, then I hope you'll consider subscribing. And when you click that little bell, that just sends you an email notification of my twice weekly videos. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and today is no exception. I've been using these Power Thoughts cards from Louise Hay. Let's go ahead and choose one. I've taken out the duplicates, so we're really winding down on cards. Okay, this one feels good and I need a good message, ladies. Ooh, I love that. I listen with love to my body's messages. I listen with love to my body's messages. My body is always working toward optimum health. My body wants to be whole and healthy. I cooperate and become healthy, whole, and complete. Oh friends, I absolutely love this card and I think it's so true. I think in the second half, we really have to have a healthy mindset, health in body, mind, and spirit. We have to listen to our body and we have to always realize that we're working toward optimum health. That's a wonderful affirmation. My body wants to be whole and healthy. I cooperate and become healthy, whole, and complete. It's so important that our mind sends our body positive affirmations about health because our body wants to be whole and healthy and our mind can help us do that. Take care. See you next time.